it's a chain of events. Um, so we started out, was it seven years ago? Eight years ago doing a cover band called Spanish Harlem. We kind of had always discussed um, writing music. We're, we're married, so it makes sense that we would do something together and for us our muse is music. So it started there. Um, we then formed uh, a band called Paper Apes um, that we played in together. Um, Jared was playing guitar in that band. Um, I picked up the bass in that band. Um, and that's when our little trio adventure began. And then from there, um, we, we were kind of just uh, dicking around one day and we were asked to play a gig as Paper Apes and we couldn't commit to that as Paper Apes and it was for a punk rock show. And Jared's like, well, it's punk rock. And I, I, you know, I just was joking around. I'm like, I could play four chords. So he's like, okay, and he books it. And so then I had to really get serious about learning how to play a guitar. And he's always kind of wanted to play drums too. So from there, it went from him playing guitar and me in Paper Apes and me playing bass in Doogie, or Paper Apes, <laughs> into Doogie Hauser, where now he's playing the drums and I am playing the guitar. And then we have full circle, our original drummer from our cover band is now playing bass for us in Doogie Hauser. It was basically, you know, named after Neil Patrick Harris, you know, <laughs> and uh, when we first uh, started Doogie Hauser, the punk rock band, our, our idea was initially we were just going to write a bunch of uh, songs with uh, Neil Patrick Harris quotes and stuff like that in it. And so a lot of our uh, first, like, early original stuff written was things like Neil Patrick Harris, you know, or we had, you know, or we had, you know, uh, we had a quote from Furberger from Harold and Kumar, you know, all these different songs where it was like Neil Patrick Harris quotes from all the movies and stuff like that he'd been in. So, and so we named it Dewey Hauser. And then, you know, now since then, things in the band have changed and not every song is about Neil Patrick Harris because we went forward, got a little bit more professional, you know. <laughs> right. Doogie Hauser was, uh, we all know that's where he came from. That's where, he, you know, we, as kids, like my age and stuff like that, we grew up watching Doogie Hauser, Alf, you know, uh, Family Matters and all those TJIF flicks and stuff right. like that. And so it has a little bit of nostalgia. Musical influences, I'd say we have a kind of a really broad spectrum for musical influences, you know, from, you know, old classical music to jazz to the old you know belters chet atkins you know i mean a big dialogue i think that the motivation for where our music kind of goes with is that kind of old thrash metal sound and some like slipknot and lamb of god mixed in with probably a more of like a pennywise and a bad religion kind of you know punk rock element and then we throw in a little bit because we've always uh, through every band we've ever played in they've always said you guys kind of sound like a 90s alternative band <laughs> so that comes into play as well but yes yeah, so the doogie house are, is more of like a um a thrash metal hybrid of you take maybe the early 2000s like new metal movement and throw it together with some alternative and punk rock from the 90s and 80s and that's kind of where we're at you know so we just started to do um, some recordings through our friend they've got a little bit of a studio in the making um, we just hit that up a couple weeks ago we've been doing some editing on it so right now we've got about four songs in the mix. I think three of them are pretty ready um, to release. And then the fourth one's coming along and then we'll probably get back in there and record another two or three songs. I, it, and a side note is, is that we are with 
getting into the studio, we're going to be pressing an album, and hopefully we'll have it. We're, we're playing with uh, Green Jelly in August. in August. So we hope to have, have yeah. the, it'll be, it'll be an, an EP. It won't be like a full-length album with six songs on it. But we hope to have that cut and pressed by August. So, yeah, we'll be doing that and doing a lot more of the merch part of it all. Right now, of course, the main go-to is our Facebook, which is just the Doogie Hauser. Um, we recently just put up a podcast that will be um, putting up some of our behind the scenes stuff, some of our um, recording, our first process going in, in the studio and recording this album, um, as well as a, a little like backstage pass with some of the local artists when we get to play shows and that, because um, we'll be able to do some on the spot interviews with those guys too, um, just to spread the love in the scene and let people know what's out there. And that one is um, at anchor.fm slash sucks. Um, we do have an Instagram as well. <laughs> Doogie Hauser sucks. Um, and we are currently working on that website as well. We want the people to understand why we say Doogie Hauser sucks because sometimes I think the best joke can be yourself, you know? And yeah. so, and it's fun you know and, and so that's 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 another thing uh kind of like you know green jelly sucks or primus sucks you know um we we influence anybody that comes out to a green or, or a doogie hauser show to literally we want you all to yell you suck to us <laughs> all the time so you know for anybody watching this and you come out and see us just remember there'll be a point in the show where we stop and ask you to tell us that we suck and we hope that the whole entire audience gets interactive with that because that's some of the funnest things that we can do as a band. So. It, it, we're gonna actually gonna call the, the name of the album Shit Flusher. Are we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's news to me. I don't recall agreeing on this. Is this something you and Worm came up with in the bathroom when I wasn't there? We were looking at an old toilet and we said, this, this album's going to go down like a shit flusher, so, you know. <laughs> I guess so. That's punk rock. <laughs> okay, last one for real. We call this Testy. One, two, three, four!